Check it out. Today I've got a review and little demo of the tiny pink stencil cap. Matthew Don is also a graffiti artist and a little aerosol artist, and he hit me up after starting this Kickstarter campaign a little while ago. And basically, it's a new kind of version of a stencil cap that I'm probably sure all of you guys are familiar with. The way the stencil cap works is it provides a smaller hole for you to actually spray through, whereas normally the spray paint actually expands quite a bit from the small hole on the nozzle. This way it traps it and creates somewhat of a circle stencil that it can then be sprayed through. So with normal stencil caps, you spray and all the paint builds up around the top of the donut and in your hand basically and then ends up just splattering everywhere and getting your shoes and clothes pretty messy. The tiny pink has a nice reservoir in front that captures all the excess spray and kind of holds it in front of the can until you're ready to pour it out. The reservoir isn't massive, but by no means are you painting huge surfaces with this, so you're going to be able to actually have a pretty nice workflow in between emptying it out. The tiny pink stencil cap holds true to its 1 8 inch line. This thing is super thin and honestly you're going to get some crazy detail work. I'll throw some stuff in over top now of Matthew Don actually painting some pretty impressive uh, portraits and whatnot with the stencil cap in hand. I'm just doing some tags in my videos so it doesn't quite translate as beautifully as Matthew's but you can see that this is pretty versatile and you can actually get into some quite tight spaces using this cap. I wouldn't say the line is perfectly dense, but if you take your time and make sure you have a clean cap on top, it's going to work really well and actually help in some fine detail work. I foresee myself using this in pieces as simple cutbacks and whatnot to add some smaller details than normally achievable with the smallest caps I know of. I did notice with thicker paints like fresh paint, it tend to clog the cap up quite a bit. I was actually starting with fresh paint for the most part and by the time I was using it for about half an hour, the fresh paint was actually clogging it so consistently that it was almost impossible to keep painting with it. Much like fresh paint, iron lacks a thicker body paint so that's going to have some trouble as well. But thinner bodies like Spanish Montana Hardcore or German Montana and even sugar paint are going to do a lot better with this small application. Cleaning it out in between applications wasn't too hard, and Matthew Don has a pretty intuitive video talking about how to clean it exactly, and I'll leave that linked in the description if you're interested. I found it wasn't too hard to clean, and that the paint wiped out nicely, and that just poking it through with a toothpick and then blowing it out was able to clear it for most paint. Even flipping your can over and just using some aerosol after the paint has sprayed out was nice to get out the rest of the paint around the circle. The tiny pink fits onto most cans. Anything that's graffiti oriented you'll be totally fine with. I found that color place it didn't actually clip on based on the top donut ring. Cans like Krylon, Painter's Touch, and Valspar all clicked on, but their donuts are actually a little bit higher so the cap wasn't actually able to sit in line with the hole, so you're not actually going to be able to spray through the stencil like the other cans. So in conclusion, I can definitely say that I'm happy with how the Tiny Pimp worked out. It's taken all my complaints of normal stencil caps and really mitigated them into a really functioning tool. I think it's a great piece to have in your arsenal, and if you're interested in checking them out, there's a couple days left in the Kickstarter, so be sure to head over there, throw some support. Matthew's really close in hitting his goal, and if you actually pledge now, you can save about $10 on the final production model. I think this product really scales to a bunch of different versions of aerosol art. I'm eager to see how this tool stretches people's use of spray paint. The link to everything will be in the description of this video, and I can't thank Matthew enough for the opportunity to test this pre-production model out. It's going to do it for me guys. Peace.